Hello. Homosexuality. The Church utterly condemns all forms of unjust discrimination, harassment or abuse directed against people who are homosexual. Consequently, the Church teaches that homosexual people must be accepted with respect, compassion and sensitivity. That's in the Catechism of the Catholic Church. Insofar as the homosexual orientation can lead to sexual activity which excludes openness to the generation of new human life and the essential complementarity of man and woman, it is in this particular and precise sense only objectively disordered. However, it must be quite clear that a homosexual orientation must never be considered sinful or evil in itself. The Church has consistently argued that the meaning of marriage is not set by society alone. The essential meaning of marriage is given in God's plan of creation. In the beginning, God created human beings, male and female. Genesis 1.27 it is from the personal union of man and woman that new life is born and it is within the loving context of such a relationship that a child can be welcomed and nurtured. Marriage, love, or married love, involves the essential complementarity of male and female. The Church teaches that sexual intercourse finds its proper place and meaning only in marriage and does not share the assumption common in some circles that every adult person needs to be sexually active. Everyone needs to develop the virtue of chastity, whether married or unmarried, homosexual or heterosexual, engaged, single through choice, widowed and divorced. Moreover, there is more to a person than sexual inclination and more to love than sexual desire. The late Cardinal Hume emphasized the message of the Gospel that all love is from God. The Church recognizes the value of friendship between homosexual people when it is lived chastely in accordance with her moral teaching, but what the Church does not countenance is any attempt to express this love in a sexual way. It is an immemorial belief founded on the natural law that only a relationship between man and a woman can be a marriage. This position, firmly rooted in scripture and church teaching, is not in itself arbitrary or unfair, and it should not be regarded as discriminatory. Thank you for listening. God bless you all.